Welcome to Wednesdays with Weingarts. I'm Ron Weingarts. Today I'm here to talk about the laser series of commercial mowers. I'm going to talk about the difference between the E, S, and X series mowers. Let me start with the Laser E series. The Laser E series is still by far our biggest seller because it offers exceptional value and it's still a very high performing, high performing mower. The Laser E series some real nice enhancements for, for this year. They've gone from an 8 gallon to a 12 gallon fuel tank. The 12 gallon is what you found on the other two series. The 8 gallon got you through most days, but some of those long days of heavy mowing, that 12 gallon will get you through anything you're up against. So that's a real nice improvement for this year. Also, um, they've added more models in the lineup that have the, uh, the run flat front tires, which guys really like. So they're an airless tire, um, which came standard on the S and X series, but um, the E series, uh, they've added to most models based by listening to customers. That was a feature that they really, really wanted. So that's been added for most models this year. All the Laser E-Series do come with the deluxe suspension seat that are adjustable for the weight of the operator. And it does have a slide, so it'll slide back and forth. One thing with the, the Laser, what's really made it the number one selling commercial mower is its simplicity and ease of maintenance. Starting up front, your casters, if you notice there's no grease fitting. These are designed for a once a year grease, where you actually pull the plug, and, and grease it just once a year. Um, they're, they're packed in grease, so they're again minimal maintenance. Uh, the spindles are all non-greasable spindle assemblies. They're again for easy maintenance. All your access points to get at your belt, if you want to clean out your grass uh, or inspect the pulleys or the belt, you just flip up that chute and this will actually just slide right out. And even your side assemblies, there's no there's no um, wing nuts that can get lost or, um, or steel covers that'll rattle and make a lot of noise. These plastic covers just slide into place. They're again, easy to get at the belt and, and spindle assembly or if you just wanna kinda clean it out real good if you get grass buildup. So it's all about the ease of, ease of maintenance. So Laser Air Series offers a lot of different engine options based on customer preference um, and, 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 and basically needs. The Laser, all of the Laser Series, so whether whichever series you go with, they're all on the same chassis. So you're not getting any less machine by going to an E. It's still the same commercial, commercial chassis. They all have the same height of cut system, which is just an awesome system. So this will drop it down for mowing. A single pin. That was set at one inch, that would be the lowest. If you want to change to two inch or one and three quarter, pop your pin and drop it down. For transport or for loading on a trailer, just a very easy uh, locking system to lock the deck up for, for transport. Um, all the 60 inch machines run the 24, 12, 12 tires, so it is a little bigger tire. Uh, from years past um, and whether you go the ES or X series. So that's the S series. Uh, talk real briefly on the S, I don't have one out, but with the enhancements in the E, the really the E, there's not as much difference. So the, the S will offer uh, different engine options, higher performing engines, but a lot of guys move up to the S to get the bigger fuel tank or the run flat tires, which are now coming uh, standard on the E models. But now I want to talk about the X series. So the X-Series, the, the biggest difference is the 16cc hydro pumps versus 12cc. So it's a higher displacement pump, it goes from 10 mile an hour to 11 and a half hour, 11 and a half mile per hour ground speed. So it's a higher performing machine. There's higher uh, horsepower engines. So if you're on those large properties, you can mow at 11 and a half miles per hour. Um, you know, with, the, with the, the larger displacement engines. So this is really for a higher production mowing. Um, when you really do the, the math, and we can work that out for you, a lot of times you can pay for the difference in the X-Series in a short time just because of the added productivity. Where if you're doing a lot of smaller properties, the ground speed's not gonna be as important, the E-Series will, will do fine. So the X-Series, that's some of the key advantages. Some of the other things they add, they add more bolstering to the seat, more padding in the armrest. And the big thing is this rubber ISO mount system on the deck. So you see you get side, sideways flex in that deck. 
So we go on those faster, at that faster speed, um, especially on rougher properties, that'll give you a much nicer ride uh, because you added those rubber isolation mounts. Something simple, but it really does a, really does a great job. It really enhances, enhances the ride quality. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the difference of the deck between the Series 4 and the Series 6 deck. So the Series, uh, series 4 is still probably one of the toughest spindle assemblies on the market. Uh, bearing supported top and bottom and a large diameter shaft to give you added durability. When you go to the Series 6 series, They run double bearings top and bottom, so you had two more bearings to give it more, more support, longer life, so that you go at those faster ground speeds, this is going to be a much tougher spindle assembly. And also this is 20 thousandths thicker diameter spindle, so there again is a little tougher spindle assembly. This, um, uh, I mean, this is as tough as they get. You say the Series 4 spindle holds up fantastic, but the Series 6, especially at those higher speeds, uh, with the double bearings and the larger diameter spindle, does holds up ex extremely well. Another thing I want to put on the mower decks. So the Laser S Series, the deck is hung by chains, front and back, which is kind of standard throughout the industry. Where the X Series, they use a hardened uh, steel rod. So this gives you much more structural support especially at those higher ground speeds or on rougher terrain. The other thing, both models do come with pan hard rear rod su support supporting the back of the deck. So what that does, if you do hit an obstacle, this has, it works like a shock absorber. It's got rubber mounts inside and it helps absorb some of that shock to help uh, prevent, prevent deck, deck damage. So that's standard throughout the lineup on the laser e series, or excuse me, on the laser series uh, throughout the whole line, whether it's ES or X. The other thing I want to point out, the Xmark blade speeds are set at 18,500 feet per minute, which is as fast as law allows. And Xmark has done a lot of engineering over the years on the airflow underneath the deck. So when they talk about the ultra cut, see it to believe it cut, that's not just a saying. It is still the industry leading quality of cut. Um, if you ever want to see a demo, we'd be happy to show it because it is amazing the quality of cut. In, in virtually any any condition. There really is a wide range of engines offered on the X Mark, but you'll notice that they always use the higher spec engines. For example, the, on the Kawasaki, they're all FX series. You don't see the FS. So the, the higher spec higher spec engine. All the larger uh, Donaldson air filter assemblies. Then a lot of little things like your oil change. They have a tube that's tucked back behind here. So you go to change your oil. You can just pull this tube out, pull the nut out versus trying to have it sneak a wrench in to take in that and, and loosen that nut. So a lot of little things because it's all about the maintenance. If we can make the mower easier to maintain, the uh, guy's going to do it and you're going get, to gonna get longer, longer life out of the machine. I mentioned there's a lot of different engine options, but on the X series they do have a super high performing Vanguard, which has an electronic fuel injected uh, for more torque and horsepower. And also the Vanguard oil guard system, you can go up to 500 hours between oil changes. So there again, for those high production, you guys are putting a lot of hours on, that really extends your oil change uh, intervals on the Vanguard series. But there again, they offer a wide range, of engine, wide range of engine options to suit all the customer's needs and expectations. So that's a little bit about the Laser ES and X series. Should point out that I'm talking about the 60 inch, which is by far the most popular, but they do offer uh, the lasers in 52, 60, um, or 72 inch uh, cutting widths. Thanks for listening today. Wine guards, wine guards, everything from long to snow.